Hello, everybody. My name is Adam Gordon. I'm an entertainer here at IT Pro TV, and I'm your host for this series. In this episode, we're going to look at OneDrive for file storage and how we can use OneDrive in Teams to get access to our files. Join me here if you will. We're going to take a look at Teams. I've got the files icon selected in our navigation area, and I've got the OneDrive view already set up. Let's zoom in so you can see where we are and what we're doing. You can see I've got my file selector already chosen for our navigation icon. Our files list is there with our views. I've gone down to cloud storage where OneDrive is listed. Now, you may have other OneDrive is one of many cloud storage providers that you may be using and your team and your organization, your business may actually have a different cloud storage provider in addition to OneDrive. OneDrive is the built-in basic back-end default standard for Microsoft products, but that doesn't mean we can't use others. So if you see something different there, not a big deal. It just means that somebody used this big old button down at the bottom that allowed them to add cloud storage, and there may be other providers there. For instance, when we click, you will see, we're not gonna add them, but just so you can see, we may have Dropbox, Box, and or share file in Google Drive as potential options there. So just in case you're wondering why yours may look a little different from mine. But we're gonna stick with OneDrive as our cloud storage provider. And when we scroll over to our default area to see our details and our description of what's going on in OneDrive, we can see, and again, your list of files and folders will certainly look different than mine, but I do see that I've got some content that's been uploaded into OneDrive and is sitting there and made available. I can see the name of the file or the folder. I can see the modification day and timestamp, the name of the person modifying it, that would be me, and the file size, as well as whether it is shared privately or publicly and how it's made available. Now, what we're interested in is the fact that I can highlight any one of these items, in this case, a JPEG file of some kind, and I can click next to it to select it. And when I do that, I've got a bunch of options up here in my toolbar. I want to explain a couple of them to you, but I also want to look at our show actions ellipsis, our little menu indicator there. And you'll see that when I click on it, I do have a variety of actions, and these actions in our pop-out menu mirror the options up in our toolbar. They are essentially the same thing. It's a matter of where you go to use them. So I could copy a link to this file. I can download the file. We've talked about downloads in other episodes. I could certainly delete or rename the file. I could move it or copy it, but I could also open it in OneDrive. Let's take a look up here at our toolbar. And sure enough, copy link, download, delete, rename, open in OneDrive, move or copy, all of them are the same, and I show that I have one file selected. Now let's focus on this open in OneDrive element. You can see it on the toolbar as well as in the menu down below. OneDrive is the cloud-based storage mechanism, as I talked about just a moment ago at the beginning of the episode, for Microsoft. It's the back-end storage area that anybody and everybody that uses any kind of Microsoft product and stores anything in the cloud is going to be using. Now, you may not realize your company uses OneDrive, or you may be very familiar with it. But if your files are being created locally on your machine, put into Teams, you're working there, and then they're being synced, they're being stored and copied up to the cloud for safekeeping, for backup and disaster recovery purposes, OneDrive is likely one of the places where they go. And so if you want to open a file in OneDrive, you can click there to do that. Let me just zoom out so you can see what's happening. Notice we are opening a web browser. I'm actually using Microsoft Edge Chromium right down here. You can see it. This is opened in OneDrive. I'll zoom in just so you can see the tab for the browser, our documents, which is our personal area in OneDrive where all of our documents are that is being reflected in the Teams app. And we could see the address bar, the URL that shows where we are in OneDrive uh, using that via SharePoint, which is really the web front end. SharePoint's the pretty graphical web browser friendly tool that shows us our content. OneDrive is the storage vault on the back end where all that content actually lives. And we could see it all right here. I see myself, my user, 0365 guy. I'm looking at my files. And sure enough, when I come over here and I scroll down, there are all the files that are also sitting in Teams. And I can see that exact file that get hotfix PS1 
uh, or excuse me, the get hotfix JPEG file, because that's the one that I was looking at. And if I click on it, I can see a little preview of it here. If I want to, my little pop-out card, not a lot going on. I could see the details of it if I want to do that. And I can see a picture of it right over here to preview it. It's a little capture of some PowerShell work I was doing. You'll see I've got some information about who may be able to access it and activity. And if I want to, I can click on the file and I can actually just get it to open up and show you whatever it may be. It's just a copy of a command that I was working on in PowerShell for one of my blogs that I write about PowerShell and how to use it. And so I can open this in OneDrive or I can simply work with the file right here and click on it right in Teams and get a preview of it right here. It's a little fuzzy because it's blown up really big. There we go. It's just setting itself up and I can open it right in Teams. I don't even need to go to OneDrive if I don't want to. But the nice thing is I can go to OneDrive and see where the files are stored, work with them, manipulate them and deal with them there. But as always, I can also work with them right in Teams. When I'm done, I want to make sure we can close and close the right way. We've talked about using the close button and not using the arrow or excuse me, the X at the top to close Teams, but rather simply close the picture. And we do have our little more options menu where I can download or open in OneDrive again directly from the preview as I look at it in Teams if I want to. We're going to close that, get right back to where we were and be able to see all of our files listed. So the integration of OneDrive directly in Teams allows you to be able to see all your files, see where they're stored and work with them from a variety of different vantage points and locations, whatever makes the most sense for you. I'll be back with more episodes, continue making you more productive in Teams. But until then, happy teaming. Check out the playlist for more Microsoft Teams tips and be sure to subscribe to the IT Pro TV channel. I'm Adam Gordon and thanks for watching.